So the Office for Nuclear Regulation um, has responsibilities for safety, safeguards, uh, radioactive materials transport and security. Um, and my responsibilities are around security. Um, and what we do is we uh, set objectives for the um, industry to achieve um, and we then assess their compliance with uh, those, those objectives um, and we regulate them against security plans that they're required to produce. Um, so that involves them uh, creating uh, capabilities to protect nuclear material from theft and from sabotage and the capability of protecting sensitive nuclear information from uh, proliferation. If you allow organisations to try and uh, present evidence to show that they are managing their cybersecurity regime in the best way possible, um, in a way that suits their own, uh, suits their own um, corporate needs, but also meets government's requirements as well, then you end up with a system that should be more flexible and more responsive and therefore more efficient. I'm generally optimistic about the delivery of security across the critical na national infrastructure as we move forward. Um, I think that we're taking the cyber security issue seriously now. People are starting to think about how security will be diff different in the digital age to how it was in times before. Um, and I think we're recognising now, perhaps because of the cyber security discussions, that a professional security workforce is essential in order to deliver security outcomes that meet business requirements as well as government objectives. Mm -hmm.